Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. I got a play for you today out of the New England Patriots playbook. This is my personal favorite playbook. I always change playbooks throughout the year. The beginning of the year was the Bengals. Now I moved on to the Patriots, and I've been using them for some, for some time. I switched over because of a really nasty blitz out of the 335 odd. I'll try to find that and pop a link for that. That blitz is just so nasty. I got plays out of pretty much every formation in this book because it's very similar to some of the plays that I use um, out of the Bengals. But either way, I like the 3-4 edition too, which is nice. I can get some good plays out of that out of the 3-4 odd, although some of these other ones I don't use. So let's go ahead and get into the play. Uh, there's a couple different variations you can use. I'm going to be making this play out of a cover two, so it's up to you really if you want to use Tampa two, cover two sink. Uh, you can use, not the nickel blitz. I did put out the nickel blitz in a, in a, <laughs> already though, uh, but you could use uh, there's one more here if I can find it real quick. The cover two show four. That's the one I like the most because it has a little bit of a confusing setup. So that's the one I'm going to be picking it out of. Uh, but there are some differences like uh, what you want to use as far as um, the cover two sinks got different zones than the Tampa two. Uh, the Tampa two I use quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. So it's really up to you whether you want to use the Tampa two or the cover two show four. At least the cover two show four will throw your opponent off. So this play right here, like I said, you can use. You know, I'm using the two four five, but. That's only because the nickel normal isn't in this playbook. I typically prefer the nickel normal because of the uh, the alignment of the defensive line, and I think it's a little bit better against the run, but the pages don't have that. So since this is meant to be a passing defense anyway, this is how I'm going to use it. The adjustment that I'm going to make that most people are probably used to is the mid-read. That's number one. Like I said, I'm not going to go into that too much because people are already aware of this setup. Uh, but what I don't like about this is when he leaves the zone, you can see how far apart these, uh, these linebackers are. So to make this extra noobish, I have my option of dropping one of these guys in the coverage one of these defensive ends now i prefer kyle van noy because he's probably a little bit better uh athlete for me to use her uh, but realistically you can see how most of the action is going on over here so in that scenario i'm going to use her whichever defensive end is closer to the action uh, sometimes i'll do it over the running back uh, but in this scenario i probably should have i probably should have swapped that harrison but i'm gonna have to use him so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bluff blitz him so that way i can draw a little bit of attention before i drop back from lyman hopefully one of my one of my other linemen will get in um, a lot of times i'll just i'll spread them out too uh, sometimes i'll even put them on a um where I'll, I'll make them do one of these where they're gonna you know contain the quarterback depending on the you know what my opponent's been doing if he's been scrambling a lot uh gameplay video coming out soon i'll have where i did this quite a bit um, but other than that, I mean, this is probably the noobest, I'm sorry, one of the noobest defenses that I've that I've been putting out all year. Anytime it's like third and ten, I just want to get off the field, I run this play. So let's go ahead and let's run this one time. Like I said, not really happy with James Harrison, but let's go ahead and let's do this. Uh, you can see here, I mean, there's nothing there. That's that's should have been picked off. You know, so that's a bad play. So I went ahead and I switched out Marcus Flowers, a much better athlete. James Harrison's like 69 or something. He's not going to be able to drop into coverage. So just make sure you have athletic guys on the outside. And then, like I said, make sure you bluff blitz. Don't drop him back. Bluff blitzing is going to do more. You can even move him since this is a 245. You might not be able to do this as easily in a, in a nickel normal. But you can move this guy around and try to get in the middle here. Just try to play games with uh, with the computer AI on the offensive line. See if you can draw some attention. And then you can see, once again, I don't know why he just keeps chucking it up. He's throwing into picks. He's throwing into coverage. There's just nothing really deep at all. I said this is just a straight up noob defense when you're trying to you know keep keep your opponent from, you know, say you're up a touchdown or something with not a lot of time left you want to pull a defensive play like this out of your pocket it's almost impossible there's really nothing that you can uh, that you can throw there's nothing you can throw in this at least nothing long short maybe I mean like right there it gets a couple yards that's nothing you can have that that's not the point of this play this play right here like I said third and ten situational football you know anytime you have uh, a situation where you know you're just trying to kill the game clock or trying to kill your, the time on your opponent just drop back into something like this like i said late in the game if you're up a couple scores you can just run this this prevent i'll get a sack there which is surprising i mean yeah i used to run a cover four a couple years back but there's so many cover four beaters easy cover four beaters too in the game this year so that doesn't work anymore i haven't seen a one play touchdown against a defense like this yet with that middle third and a cover two um, i don't even know what you would call this uh, type of zone coverage. It looks like a cover three, but it's not. So realistically, uh, look at that. We're throwing a pick here. I was even on a short defense right there. Eric Rowe uh, would have took that to the house easy. So you can just see how the coverage is. That's it for uh, this video. If you want to see more defensive plays, do me a favor and like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money Shut Out.